Let there be light. Cozy chair, cozy chair. Can't forget the water. My office is very messy. More light, more light. We have to have so much light. Oh, why did I put those so far back? Little bit messy, little bit messy. Let's clean her up. That's better. The screen's pretty dirty. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's digital plan with me. Apologies that this video went up late this week. I've just had a lot going on, if you guys haven't noticed. <laughs> I tend to go a little MIA, MIA when there are lots of projects going on, which is definitely the case currently. So any hoozle, um, we need to plan out the week, this upcoming week, because it's gonna be very busy, very eventful. Um, my brother is coming into town, which is super exciting. And let me adjust the viewfinder there, there we go. And I'm actually taking this whole next week off of work, which is much needed. I think a little break will be good for my brain, um, just to help me be, you know, creative or, you know, all that kind of stuff. Sometimes we need a reset, you know? So yeah, let's go ahead and get started. I need to pick out a sticker kit. I think I'm going to go with this one here because it is St. Patty's Day, which is very exciting. I have all of your questions. Admittedly, I am not prepared <laughs> for this video at all. So I have your questions on Facebook. I took some notes of questions I got from messages. And then I also, where did the questions go? Oh, there they are. And then, um, and then I have some on Instagram as well. So I'm just gonna kind of pop through those and do all that but yeah here is this current week i am obsessed <laughs> with how this turned out it's so cute let me zoom y'all in just a little smidgen more eh? because yeah there we go i feel like that's better but yeah i'm pretty obsessed with how this is turning out this kit is absolutely gorgeous one of my favorite kits for sure um, I have not made my bed yet this morning. It's Saturday morning, by the way. I didn't track the weather yesterday, so that's cool. But yeah, so there we go. Um, let's flip on over to this week. Actually, let's go to the month first and just kind of get some details from there because there is quite a lot going on. So my oldest daughter is on spring break this week, and... My brother's flying into town. We've got a Taylor Swift concert coming up. There's all sorts of things going on. So, and let me put myself on Do Not Disturb. There we go. So, yeah. Um, my daughter's piano has changed, I believe, but I don't think it changes till after spring break. So I'll have to get with my husband on that. I think she's going to start going on Tuesdays and Fridays um, now instead because she's going to have 45 minute sessions instead of 30 minute sessions. So anywho, let's go ahead and pop over to the week and I will paste that guy right here and we will get started. So I'm going to start kind of the same way. I don't know if you guys have noticed this about me, but I tend to figure out what I want to do and then I sort of just roll with that same type of look. So I think I'll start by putting in some washi. I'm gonna put this over here and um, I'm trying to not cough. <laughs> For some reason I've had this dry cough this morning. Um, I've had really bad allergies. So there we go. Um, okay, for the washi, I am definitely going to use this one here. I am obsessed with this washi, it's so cute. So let's throw that up here on the top and then I'll put March there. And I just like to kinda do that. I feel like that looks good. Um, maybe a little lower 
Okay, and then I will grab the March little bubbly sticker here, pull that over, and layer that right on top. That looks good. And then I'm gonna take my lasso to create a screenshot, copy that, and paste, and then I'm gonna go through and just cut off the tops of these. That sounds so like violent, but you know, that's what we're gonna do. And then I will copy this and proceed to do the same with all of these, because I like to use the brush stroke headers. I'm just kind of obsessed with them. I think they're my favorite ones. And we need to move that down just a little bit more. There we go. And then what I can actually do is I can copy both of those and paste and do that at the same time. I feel like that makes it a little easier. Okay, and then move this over and we will do the same down here. So I just realized my daughter's hatch is still on so Twinkle Twinkle Little Star keeps playing. I don't think you guys can hear it but it's driving me nuts so let me just turn that off real quick. There we go much better. So then we are going to go on over to the brush stroke headers and put those in. So I went with, you know, the St. Patty's kit because it is the week of St. Patrick's Day. So I figured that would be fun. I like planning for like the holidays and stuff. Um, and I'll just kind of size those how I want and then I've kind of learned to take them over here where the white square is not located um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to place the Monday kind of get this in the middle ish area that looks good and then We'll do Tuesday and Wednesday, but I'm going to take my pen. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna sneeze. <laughs> so random funny story, but I usually edit my sneezes out because I'm a little embarrassed by them. I feel like my sneezes are always like, I don't know, they always like sound weird. But yeah, I usually edit them out. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to draw a line here. And I'm going to draw a line all the way down there and then that way I can kind of make sure that these are where I want them to be so I'll like kind of do like a little a little grid action if you will and then I'm going to draw a line going down here as well the line tool is your friend I just noticed that this, I think, needs to come down in just a scooch. Scoochy. There we go. And then that kind of just makes it a little bit easier to make sure everything's lined up. Because I can sort of put that there-ish. And then I can take my pen tool here. Do that, and then maybe what I'll do actually is I will take, um, oh, and you know what? I'm kind of going a little bit out of order. Do I want to do it that way? Actually, I think I do. I think I want to go Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. That way the weekend's both down here. I like that, so I'm going to stick with that. So I'm going to take this Friday, kind of have that go right here. And then I'm going to take Saturday and that right there, pen tool, draw across, 
probably move that down a little bit. And then I'm going to take Sunday and put that there. And then it should look all nice and beautiful. That was weird. <laughs> it started it started erasing the brush stroke, which was kind of odd, but okay. Um, so yeah, those look pretty good. I'm pretty happy with those. And then what I'll do is I will go to the date dots and I will go to, oh, those are super cute though. Oh, dang. Oh, dang. <laughs> That's okay. I think I'm gonna still, these little shamrocks are adorable, but you know what? I've got shamrocks in the decor, so I will use those. And then we're planning for, see, I already covered the dates, the 13th through the 19th, yeah. So I'm gonna take my lasso and do the 13th through the 19th. And I accidentally grabbed a couple that I didn't mean to, but that's okay, it's an easy enough fix. And then I keep them all grouped together and size them all at the same time. So that looks good right there. And then what I will do is I will get rid of the 12, get rid of the 20, take the lasso, and I will just kind of place these just where they go quickly, and then I'll go in and I will fine tune, oops, fine tune it. So we'll do that. Oh, here we go with the sneezing again, I swear. Okay, and then I'll take my photo tool because when you got a sticker on top of a sticker, you want to use the photo tool. Um, if I did the lasso, it would pick everything up and I will just place those more where they need to go. So I'll just kind of go over here. It looks like I forgot to erase some pen right there, so I'll take care of that. And then go over here but yeah my allergies have been just terrible lately oh look I got that one pretty good <laughs> um, oh and that one looks pretty good and then this one needs to move over just a little bit so now all the dates are in and then I'm going to do another white square because I like the like kind of de decoration above the list, so I'm just gonna stick with that. Um, I'll probably reference like this previous page a little bit just to kind of do the same thing, but I, I just love how that turned out, so I'm pretty excited about it. Oh, I'm telling you, I keep getting this little tickle in my throat. It's driving me nuts. Okay. So then, let me pull up a question. So, um, oh, okay, so these are messages I got. Have you decided whether or not to homeschool? Homeschooling mom of five over here, and it's the best decision we ever made. So, funny you should ask. Um, Andrew and I have decided to homeschool our oldest daughter. Well, both of our kids. Julia will be a little bit before she's like being formally homeschooled. We do have her do. Um, like preschool workbook pages. It's part of her clipboard. So both the kids have clipboards. I've shared this on Instagram, but I don't think I've shared like here or anything. But I made little clipboards. I got the idea from Jordan Page. Um, she has a YouTube channel. She's pretty big. Um, you might be familiar with her, but she's um, she does like the fun, cheaper, free stuff. But she does this clipboard system with her kids. And they have to do the whole clipboard, check off all of their items before they get any screen time or time with friends. So um, they have to, you know, make their bed, they have to get dressed, they have to brush their hair, brush their teeth, um, they have to do a certain amount of chore sticks. That's the other thing we do. We have a little jar of like chore sticks and everything. Um, and I don't know why did I start talking about the clipboard? Oh, because the preschool, <laughs> the preschool workbook thing. So anyways, going off on a different tangent. But anyways, they have all these things that they have to do right before they, um, before they get screen time or like go um, on play dates and stuff like that. Because we do lots of play dates. Let's see, I think I'm going to use this one here. 
so yeah, we've decided to homeschool. We're gonna do, I did a lot of research on curriculums. We're gonna do the good and the beautiful um, for our curriculum. I'm really excited about it. Um, there's a couple moms on our street um, that also homeschool. We got to talk to them during our neighborhood block party that we had this past weekend. And they love homeschooling. They, um, one of them uses a Becca currently for the curriculum, but she's switching to the good and the beautiful. And then Maddie's best friend who's homeschooled, her family uses the good and the beautiful. So I'm really excited about it. I think it's going to be, um, it's going to be really fun. And yeah, so we have decided to homeschool. So that will be a new adventure. I don't know how much I'll share on my channel about it. Um, if you guys are interested in it, I mean, I'm going to be creating products for homeschooling for sure. Um, so that'll be coming, but yeah, if you're interested in the homeschooling stuff, definitely let me know and, um, I can share more on my channel. I'm, my YouTube channel is just like a mess right now. Like YouTube life is for me, is just like a total mess. <laughs> which is fine, you know, um, I just feel like I haven't been very consistent with it. It just hasn't been a huge priority, but I also love it at the same time. So it's not something that, you know, that I want to like, just like completely cut back on, but it's just hard because, um, because yeah, there's just a lot going on as far as like creating new products and things like that. So, um, so yeah, anyways, um, that is homeschooling. So that's that question. Um, I'm glad it works really well for you. The person, so the people who messaged me, I said to message me on Etsy if you wanted to stay private, so I'm not gonna share names or anything. Um, but if you're watching this, just, if you wanna message me and let me know what curriculum you use, that'd be really great. And then any tips for getting started because I think the one thing I'm most nervous for with homeschooling is just getting my kids to focus <laughs> and everything. Um, I know it's going to be an adjustment at first for sure. Um, Maddie's really excited to homeschool too so just FYI she has been a very active part of this decision as well. Um, she is not the, she's really great with school. She gets great grades and everything, but honestly, she's just kind of bored. Um, academics do come very easy to her. So where she needs more time, like committed, I think is like extracurriculars and stuff like that. So, um, we're excited about like going on more field trips. Her school stopped doing like field trips, like going places. So it kind of stinks. Um, and we like her school plenty enough. It's just, yeah, I think a lot of it is us wanting more time together as a family, more flexibility, and then for her to just be more involved in certain extracurricular activities um, and all of that. So that's kind of like why we homeschooled. But if she absolutely loves school and was like devastated to be leaving school, then obviously we would you know, probably not pursue the homeschooling thing, but her best friend's homeschooled. Um, you know, she's excited to be homeschooled. She, she definitely wants that. So I think it'll be really good for everybody. Okay. So let's go to icons and we'll get the crock pot. I did this last week and I loved how it turned out. Oh my gosh, with the sneezing, you guys, and like the sniffles. One moment, bringing these over. <laughs> okay, so yeah, we'll put the little crock pot there. And then I love like the daily gratitude. So we'll do that. I think I forgot to do it yesterday. Yeah, I totally did. Yesterday I had a lot going on. <laughs> I was um, working on some big, big projects and stuff, uh, or big pieces of the projects that I'm working on. So, but we'll do the little heart right here. And then um, move that over a little bit. And that looks good. Okay, so that's good. And then I'm going to turn off, um, or actually I think those are photos, huh? So we'll do... 
I'll actually turn off handwriting, turn on images, and then I'm going to copy all of these over at the same time. And then I'll just delete the pink, pink ones. Just like that. Boom, boom, boom. And we'll move those over. Top three. Um, I don't know that I need to do work because, well, I, I am going to do just a tiny bit of work, so I'm not taking the whole week off. Um, one thing I want to really work on is a website, so I just wanted to do some, like, research on websites. Um, I know there's a lot of options. There's Wix and Shopify and stuff like that. My um, cousin might be helping me, so we'll see what happens with that, but... Um, but yeah, I want to start like getting that process going because there's some stuff going down <laughs> with Etsy, um, which is making me nervous, but I'm trying to not live in fear here. But, um, I guess the big news of the day that I woke up to this morning, cause I'm in like the Etsy sellers community is that the Silicon, Silicon, whatever Valley bank shut down. And now there's a bunch of sellers who have their funds frozen um, because Etsy was a depositor or is a depositor for that bank. So that's like a big thing going on and basically like these shops aren't able to get their money like and stuff. So um, getting a website up is really important to me just to have a second like to not have all my eggs in one basket you know because this is our livelihood like my husband doesn't work this is all that I do is Etsy. So, um, it just makes me nervous. So yeah. Um, so that's the thing going on. So I really want to get that going and figure all of that out, but let's see, I think I'm going to do these little horseshoes. I'm going to do my currently reading, even though I haven't been reading, but I do want to read, um, a book over the spring break. I want to like prioritize that because we're going to be busy doing lots of fun things with my brother and stuff, but we'll definitely have some downtime. So I think it'd be nice to, um, to get some reading in. And I decided I'm going to read, um, the, uh, Invisible Life of Addie LaRue. I think that will be, um, fun. I was into the book before I didn't finish it, not because it was boring or anything, just I ran out of time. Like I didn't have time to read. And so I feel like I have to start it over. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, okay. And then let's go to scrapbook. I'm telling you, my nose is driving me insane <laughs> right now. Um, oh, we're definitely doing this gold glitter paper clip. Oh my goodness. How stinking pretty is this going to look? Oh, I love it. I love it with like the gold horseshoes too in the back. That is beyond cute. I could even do, um, no, I like that. That looks good. I was going to say, I could do like one of the pins too, which those are really cute too. I don't know. Maybe I should do that. Let's just see what it looks like. I'm going to pull this over here and then let's do this lighter gold and have that up there. I like looking in the viewfinder too. Um, no, you know what? I like the paper clip. We're going to just do the undo button and move that. Okay. So next question. Um, let's see, will I ever make paper planners? No, <laughs> I mean, never say never, but I don't have any plans whatsoever to make paper planners. Um, yeah, I, I don't even know like what that process would be and I'm sure it would be pretty tedious. I'm extremely picky. So, um, I would want to find paper probably comparable to, Erin Condren's paper and like it just, yeah, I don't know. So yeah, no, that would not be a thing. Um, I'm, I don't think it would make sense for me to make paper planners so I don't use them. So I'm probably just going to stick with digital from, for now. But like I said, never say never, but for the foreseeable future, I don't see myself returning back to paper planning or anything like that. Um, I'm really, really content and happy with digital. So um, and then how do I balance it all? I love this question because I don't, <laughs> you guys, I, you keep in mind, you only see a tiny little glimpse of my life. Um, when you see behind the scenes, when you hear me talking digital plan with me is 
I'm a mess over here and that's why partially I wanted to put like little clips at the front of this video just um, showing how messy my office is even though it's embarrassing um, I don't have it all together I don't have it all balanced you guys um, I I yeah I'm not very good I the one thing that I've become good at doing is prioritizing and being okay with things falling by the wayside that just I don't have time for like YouTube or you know other things but um, yeah that's I prioritizing is the best way I think to do it like you wake up each day and you just look at your list and pick three things that absolutely have to get done that day and that's what you focus on and I like to think of areas of life like work and family life and business and health and fitness well health and fitness should always be a top priority I'm learning um, because I made it like the last priority in my life for the last few years and I am now suffering the consequences of that but anywho um so but yeah I mean Jordan Syed actually I watched a video from him recently and he was talking about jug juggling like all these different areas of your life and how you can really only put all of your attention on two to three areas at one time so there was a time in his life where he worked for Gary V, um, which he's a motivational speaker and it was super, you know, super taxing. He was working nonstop 24 seven and his own health and fitness, um, fell by the wayside. And he was just saying like, you know, I can only put my all into two to three areas between like family and faith and health and fitness and business and all that kind of stuff all at the same time. And so you know, um, on a given day, if I feel like my family needs my attention more, then they get put first, you know? Um, if I feel like my business really, like my family's good, they're happy, they've got lots of plans, they're gonna be out of the house quite a bit or whatever it may be, then I know, okay, I can prioritize like business a little bit more too. And so, um, I'm monkeying around a lot with my schedule as well because I've been reading a lot of like time management tip books and different things like that and I'm finding that I'm definitely a person where the less time I have to do something the more focused I become the more productive I become and the more like motivated and creative I become so I think I'm gonna actually um, like try to do shorter work days and yeah, we'll see how it goes, but it scares me a little bit because I feel like I don't have time to like do much right now, but at the same time, there's a lot of time that like I'll be focused on a task for a good 45 minutes and then I get distracted. I fall into my phone and can't claw my way back out or whatever it may be. So I'm hoping if I have like shorter work, like chunks in the day to work, um, that it will kind of help me to focus a little bit more. Plus, with homeschooling, I'm gonna be very involved with that. So my whole thought process is that it's gonna be like the first half of my day is going to be homeschooling and stuff like that. And then the last half of the day before dinner time and stuff is gonna be work. So I'm talking, I'm probably gonna be working five to six hours a day versus like the eight to 10 I've been doing. So it's kind of a dramatic shift but I think it'll really help me to prioritize that and I'm gonna to continue to do my theme days. So Mondays I do admin days, Tuesdays I do content. Um, so that's like YouTube, although I've been not doing YouTube on Tuesdays to have more time for this big project because I want to get it launched um, this month. But yeah, so and then Wednesday, Thursday, Friday is kind of like create, like design create type of days like create new products and stuff like that and do design work um fridays actually are an optional like design day so fridays um will be an extra admin day if i need it or it could be an extra design day if i need it so that's kind of how i have it like figured out currently um and on admin days i you know plan out the week i like prepare for my content days so figure out what i'm doing um, I will be working on my website on those types of days. Like there's a lot of administrative work that goes into 
Etsy, it's not all just designing stuff, but like, you know, managing my shop and I want to eventually update my shop banner on Etsy and I want to um, reorganize my, my sections in my shop to accommodate these new products that are coming and I have to make sure that, you know, my discount codes are good and like all this kind of stuff. There's, and there's messages and things like that. So, um, that'll be yeah, that's kind of like my plan um, with all that. So I feel like that was a really long answer, but those are my tips and tricks, I think, um, of how I managed to get it done. I do have a team around me, both the P2P team that helps me out with putting together sticker kits. They help me a ton with like um, Allison Crops and Compresses, and I did get a question about my like sticker process, so those were all the messages I got. So let me go over to Facebook because I think that's where I got this question. Um, and I'll go into our group. If you're not in our group yet, I highly recommend um, joining. So let's see. Where did the questions go? We have a very active Facebook group. Okay. So yeah, Dusty asked what program I use to design my stickers. Do you ever have any plans on doing a YouTube video showing us your process when making them? Christy chimed in and said I second this question as well as how do you come up with the themes for the kits? So let me continue planning here. Um, so I don't plan to share my design process because I don't think that would be very wise of me. <laughs> um, you know, there's a lot of competition out there, especially with digital planners and stickers. There's a lot. So I, um, yeah, I'm not planning to share my exact process for the software that I use. I use all sorts of different types of software. Oh, and back to the team thing. So the P2B team, my family, all very supportive and I could not do what I do without them. So I just wanted to make sure to say that too because I definitely don't do it all by myself. I have a lot of help, which I'm very grateful for. Um, but I use a lot of design um, software, lots of different ones because they all have their different strengths and weaknesses. So, um, I'm gonna do, I think, like, oh, these gold flowers are just gorgeous. Let me, so I use Adobe products for some of my stuff. I use Canva for some of my stuff. I use PicMonkey. Um, I use Keynote. I use all sorts of different design softwares. And they all, like I said, they all have their own strengths and weaknesses. So I use them all for different things. Um, but yeah, that's the software I use. And then as far as coming up with themes for the kits, um, honestly, I get a lot of ideas from the P2P team. They'll give me requests of what they want to see. So one of the June kits was a request um, from Sharon, which I am obsessed with that kit. So I can't wait to share that with you guys. But I think about what's going on in the month too, what kind of major holidays are coming up. So, um, you know, St. Patty's Day was a March kit because I feel like you have to have a St. Patty's Day kit. And then, um, you know, one of the kits is a monochromatic kit. So that eliminates one of the five that I do. I just, uh, we, we put up a poll of what monochromatic stuff you guys wanted to see and um, like which colors you wanted to see. And so... Um, do I want to use green or <laughs> Kara's out there? Gosh, she's so funny. We got them new dog tags, and so she like jingles now. <laughs> it's so funny, but she's laying outside my door. But she doesn't like it when I film, so I feel like I can't have her in here because she'll just bark at me the whole time. But she's laying right outside my door as per usual. And then, yeah, I kind of like, I don't know, I work with various artists too. I get commercial licenses from them as well. And I have some favorite artists that I work with and um, that I purchase art from and stuff. And so I'll kind of look at like what they have. And um, yeah, so that's kind of how I do it. That's how I come up with the themes and stuff like that. So but yeah, so I hope that answers your question. Like the process for putting them together. Here we go with the sneezing again, I'm telling you. Oh my goodness. Um, 
So the process for putting them together is, so the week that new releases go live, um, I start to design the next set of kits. So for example, when the June kits release on April 5th, is it April 5th? Yeah. When the June kits release on April 5th, I will start designing the July kits. On I'll design those on the 5th, the 6th, and the 7th. So those three days, I'll get all the designing done. And then that's when um, Allison and Sharon take over. And Allison crops and compresses. Like, I'll show you guys. Um, let me see without giving anything away. Let me make sure <laughs> that I'm not giving anything away. I'm going to take you guys into our team hub. We have a team document that we use. So um, I don't know if you guys can see this, but so this is the designing process. So as you can see, I have all the June kits designed and then it goes over to Sharon and Allison. And this is a shared GoodNotes file. So there's a C and C column that stands for cropping and compressing. And then there's a GoodNotes file. So um, Allison does all of the cropping and compressing. Sharon does all the GoodNotes files. And so um, right now they're working on kit 25. So we're very much ahead of schedule. Look at that due date for C and C and the due date for GoodNotes is like a few weeks away. And the girls are amazing. Like. They are seriously rock stars. They're so ahead of schedule and everything, but that's when they'll take over and they'll start doing the CNC and GoodNotes work. And then I, I set the due date for about a week before they release because then that gives me time to put the listings together. So, um, so yeah, that's our little hub where we're like working on stuff. Um, so yeah, and I was going to show you guys this too, but I don't know. Yeah, I can't show you guys that. <laughs> But yeah, so that's what we do. Um, that's kind of the process and everything. I'm very grateful for them, um, for sure. So, okay. But yeah, that's kind of a little bit about the stickers and stuff. And yeah, I'm sorry I can't show like the exact process, but like I said, there's a lot of competition out there and you don't want to give away too many of the things that you're, you know, doing. So, but um, I definitely use a smorgasbord <laughs> of programs for creating the stickers. So let's see. Um, I'll go on back to Facebook. I'm going to blow my nose real quick. I'll edit this part out, obviously. Okay. So the next question is, <laughs> Kimberly, you are hilarious. You know what my question is, which is who is Mark and who is Jane? So we're doing this whole thing and we're just trying to make it like fun. We're not trying to be obnoxious, I swear. Um, <laughs> but we decided to give code names to these big projects that we're working on. Um, let me know in the comments below if you have any guesses as to what the projects are, but those are going to be launched later this month and um, one of the projects code name is Jane and the other one is Mark and so we've been putting Mark and Jane in our planner spreads and we've been talking about them in the Facebook group and stuff. And it's just fun. It's just kind of a fun like little thing we thought would be um, just yeah just to kind of get everyone excited and kind of make it a little mysterious and fun you know so um, I can't talk about specifics with Jane and Mark, but I can tell you that you will be finding out very, very soon. Sharon has a lot of fun plans. Sharon is our chief fun officer as well. And so she's very involved with the Facebook group and has all sorts of fun plans for you guys. So just stay tuned because it's coming. It's coming. You guys will find out a lot more very soon. Um, and then <laughs> Sharon replied to Kimberly, me and Allison have Stephanie tied up in a secret location until she is 100% confident she can get through this Q&A without hinting or slipping info, <laughs> which is true. I promised them I wouldn't share too much. So, um, and then Sandrine said to what is the secret plan? <laughs> Jennifer agreed. Yes. So yeah, sorry. I can't give too many specifics quite yet, but you guys will start, you'll start getting some info very soon. Um, Lori said, I can't think of any questions. You always explain everything so well that I don't need to ask anything. Oh, that's very sweet. Maybe you could talk about how you motivate yourself to get work done at home. I'm finding it really difficult to focus on work with all the distractions and I don't have kids or dogs, only a couple cats and occasionally my husband is home. So yeah. Um, <laughs> 
working from home is very distracting. <laughs> I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie. It's so distracting, you guys. It's very difficult. And I've looked into even renting office spaces, which I might do, especially if we do homeschool, because it is very hard. Um, we have plenty of space in our house for an office, which makes me feel kind of like getting a uh, renting a space would be sort of a waste of money because honestly like there's plenty of space here and everything but it is very 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 difficult um working from home and not getting distracted it's one thing that i struggle with every single day oh i think i'm gonna use this one um and yeah, it's just hard. Um, you know, my kids are coming up here constantly. Um, you know, I lock my door most of the time, but sometimes I do forget. And I always feel guilty if they're coming in because they want to like hang out with me. And I'm, you know, um, oh, I'm gonna put some torn paper in first. And I am, you know, not available. I feel guilty. The mom guilt is definitely real. Um, so one thing that I do is I have some um, noise canceling headphones. I've realized I cannot, I cannot, speaking of, you guys might hear my kids, but that's just part of, part of the thing. Um, I can't, ooh, I think I'm going to use this one here. Um, so <laughs> I told you guys. Um, she's fine. I can tell when that's a fake cry. But, oh, we'll do that. That's cute. So, um, right now I'm getting distracted, you know? So, it's just part of it. But, yeah, I cannot listen to YouTube videos and I cannot, like, watch Netflix or anything while I'm working. I do get distracted by it. I used to say like, oh, it's background noise, but I do get distracted by it. So now what I do is I put on my noise canceling headphones. Um, I do try to pick times to film when the kids are like not here. That's not always possible. Um, like right now is like my only time to film. Um, Andrew and Maddie have plans later today. They're going on a little daddy daughter date excursion. So um, I'll just listen to music. I listen to Muse. I love Muse. I love Mumford and Sons. And I listen to my church music I, and, and, and country. Um, I've been very into Kane Brown after seeing him like in concert. So yeah, that's sort of what I do um, to make it to where I don't get too distracted. I keep my headphones on like all the time. Oh no. <laughs> Car is chewing up toilet paper. Oh gosh, okay. Um, so yeah, Lori, I hope that helps answer your question as far as, you know, not getting distracted. It's very difficult. Um, so, and then I try to also not leave my office as often as possible. So I put a walking pad in my office to get steps in because it's not good for me to sit all day. It's really bad. So I put a walking pad in here. You guys haven't seen my office in a while, but things have definitely changed quite a bit in here. Um, so I have my walking pad and then I also, as ridiculous as it may sound, because there's a refrigerator right downstairs, I have a fridge and I have a microwave in my office and I put my lunch in there, I put all my snacks in there and I, yeah, I make it to where I don't really need to leave my office. I've even gone as far as like being like, okay, should I put like some sort of like water? Um, we do have a sink in the laundry room right there so I'm thinking like I could get a Brita filter so I can fill up my water in here. That's something that I'm probably gonna do soon. And then I would like to look into ice machines, um, but I honestly have no idea. But but like, this is like how intense this is, you guys. Like I have fridges and stuff. I, like I, if I leave my office, I won't come back in here for like a half hour to an hour at least. It's just how it goes. I leave and you know, I get distracted with the kids, the dogs. My husband and I talk, all that kind of stuff. So um, it just happens. And so I try to make it to where I don't have to leave my office as often as possible. Thankfully, there's a bathroom like right outside there. Um, that is part of the reason too why I moved my office upstairs is I didn't want to like, 
I, I just realized like the family is mostly downstairs. They're not really up here very often. So that's why my office is now upstairs. Um, because yeah, they're not up here very much. So I can just like pop right out, go to the bathroom, come right back in. Um, but yeah, so that's sort of my tips for not getting distracted when working from home is like, keep yourself closed in a room, do whatever you can to not have to leave the room. Um, and then headphones are gold. I have like, yeah, I have good noise canceling headphones that I wear every single day. So, and then I also put my phone on do not disturb. My phone is pretty much always on do not disturb. So apologies to anyone who texts me, who like never hear back from me, or it takes me a long time to, to respond. Um, Cause I go as far as like, I put my phone on do not disturb and I put it in a drawer because even though you're on do not disturb, sometimes you'll get notifications that pop up like, and everything like, oh, this is what you received while in, not, in Do Not Disturb and blah, blah. So, or I'll just be tempted in general to open my phone if I see it in front of me. So I put it in a drawer, I put it on Do Not Disturb. That's an important piece of that as well. So I hope that is helpful. Um, okay, so we need to put plans in. As far as spring break is concerned, I'm not gonna put that in because like, I know that it's spring break, um, but I'm gonna put Maddie's piano in. Um, I think on Tuesday it's at 5.15 and Friday is 4.15. Let me text Andrew real quick and see. Um, when is Maddie's piano? So I'll wait to hear back from him about that. Um, okay, and then I have a facial appointment on Tuesday at 10. So I'm gonna go to the light mode appointment labels and we'll put some gold in um use this one here i don't need to put in half day or anything because maddie's not going to be in school so i'm going to go to my monthly view and i will grab turn images off tuesday at five and friday at 4 15. okay cool um, so I'm going to grab just this text, all this text right here, and we'll go back to the week, and then we have Bible study as well. So I have a facial at 10 a.m. I'm obsessed with facials now, you guys. Oh my goodness. Like, I stopped getting my lashes done, and they've been replaced with facials, <laughs> which, like, cost-effective wise is not the best but like oh my goodness I would much rather have a facial over getting my lashes done any day of the week so I am now obsessed with them and the gal that I go to for my facials is amazing so that is really cool but I do miss, miss my lash lady though um, she was really awesome and fun to talk to but I my lashes are doing okay um, I'm using a lash serum, although it's not been super consistent. I need to be more consistent with it. So, um, hmm. I think I'm going to do this. Well, let me look at the icons real quick. Put Bible study in. I don't know if we're going to have Bible study because, um, because it's spring break, but I'm gonna put it in just in case. So we'll do this little cross here and then um and then I'll grab a two tone label. And I'm gonna do this dark green. Okay, so next question. This one's a Instagram. Um, wait a minute. Where did that just go? Oh shoot, what did I do? Oh, here we go. 
Um, I already messaged you, but I'm so curious about a baking sticker set. Do you have one? No, I do not currently have a baking um, set, but I do have a little notebook where I keep everyone's requests for certain kits and stuff like that or like products and things in. So I will add a baking kit to my list. I don't know, sorry for the toilet flushing in the background. I don't know exactly when like that will get, um, when that will get done, but I will definitely add it to the list because I do love to bake too. Baking is one of my favorite things to do with the kids actually. So I think that'd be really fun too have a baking kit. Why is this all, there we go. <laughs> it's being all funky there for a minute. And then we'll do the Bible study. I'm gonna have to cut and paste that. And then I think I'm gonna shorten this just a little bit. over okay so let's do another question um okay so what are you doing in place of sinking funds so avi you will laugh at me but <laughs> we are back to doing sinking funds so we tried a different method sometimes just you got to do the tried and true and just stick with what works right um i like to experiment and try new things and stuff um it's just fun for me but especially with like budgeting and stuff but I'm realizing like after we've tried so many different things that maybe I just need to stick with you know <laughs> stick with what we what we know what we do because I feel like um yeah we're we're back to doing sinking funds exactly as we were doing them before so we changed that for a minute we did like um and I think I even tried like the general sink like the general savings at one point, um, but we're, yeah, we're back to just our normal way of doing things. So, um, and then I'm gonna do this trash day. And I think I'm gonna need to like make these just a little bit smaller. And <laughs> Maddie hates cleaning her room. <laughs> so funny. Okay, so that's done. Tuesday's done. Oh, and I have my walks with Sarah, but um, we weren't able to go this last week because her kiddos were sick, unfortunately. So, um, but I want to put that in. So I'm thinking I'll probably put that over here. I'll have to make sure, I, we usually go at eight, so I'll have to just make sure that we're um, back for me to get to my appointment. But I think we're planning to go this next week. I know it's spring break, but Actually, I'll have to touch base with her, but I'm gonna put it in just in case. So I think I'm gonna do this flag here. And then I'm gonna do one of the shoes. These ones here. Or should I do, I'm gonna do this one. Mix the green with the gold. And then we'll do, copy this. Put that in. And then I can just copy all of that and put that on Thursday. All right, so that's good to go. And then, oh shoot, um, Tuesday is gonna be really busy. I need to put Maddie's piano on there. Um, so, 
Jacuzzi at 5. So yeah, I'm going to need to make this a little smaller. It's going to be a busy, 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 busy day. <laughs> and then maybe move this up a little bit more. Move that up. Maybe make that just a little bit smaller too. And then um, I'm gonna do one of the rounded rectangles. I like doing that for appointments and stuff. And we'll do, um, I'll just do this one for piano. Well, no, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do this for piano. And then I can just, I must have forgotten to put piano in that week. I will copy that and put that in, make it a little smaller, and then go to my elements. Bring in this little piano. And I think that looks good. So then we just need to change the text to, oops. Um, okay, and then turn images back on and then we will copy that and put that on Friday. I'll just kind of put it there for now and then 415. 415. Okay, so piano is in and then my brother comes into town on Wednesday. So we definitely want to put something fun in for that. I'm kind of thinking, kind of thinking. Um, maybe do this gold. Well, I want to put the airplane too. Yeah, so let me see what color the airplane is. The airplane's gold. So I'm going to just grab the airplane while we are over here. And then we'll go back to the labels. And I think I'm going to use this one right here. And then we'll cut that, copy, paste. And use the text tool. And we'll do. I think I'll do Christmas Farmhouse and David arrives at 820. We're going to go pick him up as a family and then we're going to go take him to um, First Watch for breakfast. He's never been so we thought that would be really fun. It's one of our favorite like brunch spots, so we thought that would be pretty fun. Um, I'm gonna make that a little smaller. I might change that font, but I don't know. Maybe I like it. Just need to center it a little bit better. So put that for when my brother's getting into town, and then we have the Taylor Swift concert, and oh, and Allison gets into town. Saturday morning from our P2P team, but her friend is going to be picking her up and then um, I'll have to coordinate with her and see like Because we're gonna go to dinner and stuff um, over By where like the concert is um, So we're gonna go to dinner and kind of get there early and park and everything and then that way we'll be good to go Because I'm sure it's gonna be a madhouse <laughs> so but for Taylor Swift we definitely need to do something really fun. So 
let's see kind of leaning towards like these gold shamrocks I think that would be cute so let's pull this over so that's gonna be like the main thing my brother's going to the concert as well um, I don't know if we're gonna be sitting near him or not though I think I'm gonna use the guilty font and do Taylor Swift and it's at 6.30 is when the concert begins. So yeah, I think we're gonna try to get down there um, like at four-ish, something like that. And then Allison leaves on Monday, so we'll have to come up with some fun plans for Sunday and stuff. But the main thing Saturday is going to be Taylor Swift. And then I'm going to grab some balloons. So we'll do some balloons. So excited. Um, okay, so there's that and then we do have church on Sunday, so I'll put that in as well um, Oh, that's what I was gonna do. <laughs> I blanked for a minute there uh, Let's see And then We'll just do a regular label because I'm gonna do this dark green one. So as I mentioned, this is going to be a really packed week, but it's gonna be, it's all fun. It's all, all gonna be fun times. So I'm really excited. Um, whoops, we need to cut that paste. And let me double check questions here. Um, how do you set up your office to give you the best work time? Staying on task goes along with the question above about distraction. So Michelle, hopefully I answered your question too. Um, between, you know, um, the walking pad, the fridge, microwave, um, the headphones, putting my phone away, all that kind of stuff. Um, that's what helps. And then I'm going to try the whole less work hours thing. I'll let you guys know how that goes. But like I said, um, homeschooling is going to take up our time, obviously. Um, we're gonna be homeschooling for two to three hours a day. We also wanna fit in time together, like to go to the gym together as a family and um, kind of just have a slower start to our day. That's our thing. Like we really wanna make our mornings more family time, slow it down, get some outside time, go to the gym together, have breakfast together all that kind of stuff so I probably won't start working until like 1230 is what I'm thinking and then I will work until probably dinner time something like that um, and yeah so we'll see how that goes but I want to start trying that schedule now um, just to kind of see if I'm able to accomplish this as much I figure if I give myself if my deadlines are far enough out if I continue to be far enough ahead like right now we're really ahead on kits as you guys saw and stuff um, if I continue to do all that well then I think working less hours per week will definitely be doable um, for sure so but I'm, I'm, I'm thinking my theory is that giving myself less time is going to actually light a fire under my dairy ear, if you will, <laughs> a little bit more and kind of like help me move it along. You know what I mean? So that's sort of what I'm thinking right now. Um, so we'll put church in right there. Church at one. That takes care of all of our plans. So then... I think what we can do next is just some deco so and let me find actually I want to find the cover to the Addie LaRue book Addie Secret Life of Addie LaRue and then go to images 
and copy that. Or we'll actually let's save image. And then when I go to my images, there it is. It's a little pixelated, but you can't see it when it's like, when you make it a little smaller. So, oh, the invisible life of Addie LaRue. <laughs> I got that a little wrong. So, but yeah, so that's the book I think I'm gonna read that next week. And then we'll go to, yeah, some decoration and see what we wanna do. So, I'm thinking that. Um, let's see, so for Friday, which is St. Patrick's Day, I think I'm gonna move this down, turn images on. And I think I'm gonna swap out the quote up here and put this like on actual St. Patty's Day. And then maybe just move the shamrock down. And then I'll move this over here. Let me move that there. And move this over. Whoops. Gotta use the photo tool. And then I'll try to center that a little bit better. And maybe center this on the bottom. Kind of. It's not, let's see. Move that over a little bit. Okay, so we'll do that. And then I'm thinking I'm gonna put this Shake Your Shamrock because <laughs> I just love it. And so I'm gonna put that up here. And then I'm gonna do, I love this little bow. Oh, for this Monday one, I might just put like Lucky up here and I love this charm bracelet so I'm gonna pull that in now I'm not gonna have work so I don't know if I want to change I think I'm gonna change work to something else because I know one thing I'm gonna be focusing on next week is kind of putting some love into our house a little bit so I think I'm gonna just do home instead of work. Like I wanna hang some stuff up in my office, things like that. Oh, um, question. Might be a silly question. How do you get your week plan set up so quickly? It takes me so long to get my week set up. I am a little indecisive. So, so, so Sonia, 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 um, sorry if I pronounced that wrong, but um, as you can see, <laughs> we're, I think, an hour into this video now, by by now. Um, it And I've been talking a lot, so, but my thing is, is I, the first time I put a spread together, in a different layout especially, it takes me quite a while to figure out what I want to do. But then you can see I sort of find what I like, and I just try to replicate that same look, um, you know, each each week so that's kind of how I do it um, and I've been yeah I'm definitely indecisive I feel like I show that in these videos quite a bit um, my indecisiveness but yeah that's kind of how I do things so how I get through it as quick as I do uh, let's see I think I'm gonna Pull this little star over maybe. I could even layer the, sh the star with the shamrock. I feel like that would look really cute. Well maybe not, I don't know. Maybe I'll just do, I'll just do this, the shamrock here or this little gift. I don't know. I want to put something in that little corner, but I just don't know what I want to do. Uh, let's see. Let's 
I'm gonna pull this over. Do some little squiggles right here. And then I'm gonna put this shamrock, I think, up here. And maybe like do several of them in different sizes. Kind of stagger them a little bit, you know? Like that, that's cute, I like that. So I think that's all I'm gonna do for now, you guys. Um, I think I got all the questions. There were some that I couldn't really talk about. <laughs> So I just skipped those, but I think everything else I got pretty good. So yeah. Oh, and my battery's about to die, so good timing. But here is the completed spread. I love how it turned out. So I hope you guys enjoyed this digital plan with me. Sorry if it was a little all over the place, but there you go. Um, I hope I answered all your questions. If you have any other questions, definitely let me know. I'll definitely do another um, Q and A soon. I think that this is a great way to do it, like to do questions while I'm um, planning and stuff. Um, so I hope you enjoyed listening to me ramble a little bit <laughs> and put the spread together, but yeah, that's it. I hope that you all have a wonderful weekend and I will chat with y'all later. Bye. <laughs>